Oh, it doesn't make any Acacia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Okay, um, Tanari? Anyway, please take good care of Apasia. Don't worry, we'll take good care of her. I'll go prepare Kale's medicine now. Using the lunar lotuses while they're still fresh will significantly boost their effectiveness. Rest assured, Kale will recover quickly as long as she has her medicine. Okay. Let's go then. Let's... Let's lose our grappling hook. But wait, let me just see the cool effect on the screen. Let me just see how much do I need? Yo, the, the dynamic effect on the screen doesn't stop. Uh, worship statue. I need... Yo, <laughs> yo, I need 20. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> Send help, please. Like, If I need 20 for level 2, I gotta wonder... How much Dendroculus have in Sumeru as a whole, like... Oh my god. <laughs> and what is the limit I can get in this... Well, what I was going to say until Paimon interrupted me... I wonder how Dendro how much Dendroculus we have in this region. This forest region. Uh, let, let's all see how our starving friend is for now. Or... Probably new starving friend is. Okay, quest completed. Hello, Hapesha? Hey, there's nobody here. Are you there? Are you still alive? Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Maybe. Or she passed out? What was that sound? It sounds like com coming from inside the cave. Yeah, go there, but I'm going to investigate the cave. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh, Arpeja, is she okay? Probably isn't. She probably passed out. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, what is this suspense like? Oh, look how. <laughs> no, it didn't. By the way, it's really cute. Like. Huh? What happened? Like, what just happened? Like, huh? Everything goes. Huh? Wait. What just happened? I mean, well, it is loading, but. By the way, I saw them. It, they are really cute. I, I don't know their names yet, but oh my god! Like, they do remind me of the. The, I forgot the name of, of the Zelda, the Kokiri the Zelda, the specialty ones in Breath of the Wild, like the Tesmoir ones, not the Yumanai ones. I think that's are the name, the Kokiri. Hi, Pesha. Are you alright? Uh, uh, so hungry. <laughs> Eat water. She looks famished. She somehow has more energy than I expected. Oh my god, Traveler. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Okay, let's go find water. Huh? Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Huh? Wait, uh, what? Anyway, let's go look around. Wait, it, look, it looks foggy outside? Uh, how are you, by the way? So, okay, that was <laughs> that was uh, what I expected. Yo, but where did this this fog come from? Like, oh my god. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Hot things out here end up looking like this. Uh, what happened? Relax, Paimon. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Really? Probably. Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. 
Yep, let's go. Silent Seeker of Knowledge. Proceed onwards and go through the tree hollow. But let, let me just see this. Like. I wonder if our little friend just sent us to the the plant dimensions or something like. But how did they send me and Paimon as well? Especially if Paimon said, "Oh, I'll go look for food elsewhere." But regardless, it's a really free free place, and I like when I kind of walk. There's this kind of effect that it happens. It's a really cool stuff. It's really cool. Let me just see. Ooh, there's a chest there. It really is. Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Well, oh, that was fast. Okay. Yeah, maybe. We'll... Oops. No. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Then we'll find. Okay. Bouncy mushroom domains, gameplay tutorial. You will sometimes find bouncy mushrooms eh, of the sort of some air domains. The reason which the mushrooms are not on the are not one of the tri Lakshana creatures are no are unknown, but must be quite fascinating indeed. Uh is it natural? Okay. Boing. Okay. Grappling hook. Okay, I know it. It's saying me to go there, but oh, uh, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I hit my head. But if I go here, there's a chest or something, or maybe I will have to go here later. I don't know that just me. Oh, wait. Change? Oh my god, okay. Okay, ignore that. Go to the other way. Okay, let's go through here first. Uh, what? Uh... Investigate the Quentin room with what? Uh, uh, huh? I'm, I'm sorry? And what? In a Zuma? What just happened? Like, huh? What happened just now? Why'd everything around us suddenly change? Well, that was sudden. Like, okay. Well, there's a chest here. Yo, why are we in a Zuma? Uh, one time, well, uh, game, game. Keep following. Yo, what the hell just happened? Like, uh, you sometimes find uh, primavera rose and, and sealed paths that correspond to them within the maze of Sumeru. Collect three primavera roses within this domain to unlock the corresponding path. Okay. Pick up. Yes. through here now I just follow the fault the path for now just so I don't you know okay let's just follow for now 
And later I can try to see if I can find more stuff. Terminate! Shadow Raven! Enhanced animal module 75! Animal 6308! Can't you see? I hear everything! Keep up! Scatter! Spring forth! Stand clear! Okay. Fix our chest. Carrot, okay. Doesn't seem to have anything here. Let's just go here and see what happens. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, ah, I, I can't move the camera. I want to see the scenery. Game. Okay. Um. Thanks for the other one. Pick up. Uh. Let's go here. Huh? Oh, okay. I, I was wondering. Wait, why can't? Wait, I can't? Huh? Wait. Like, do I need to? Jump here or something? No, it's giving me damage. What? Oh, oh. I I'm blind. I, I can't see, apparently. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. I get it. I get it. Wait, but I only got two. Like, where are the other ones? Yep, yeah, there, there's one. Okay. Okay, now there should be any more. Uh, well, I shouldn't have to stop right now. Let me just. Okay, let me just explore this place a little bit now that I know where I need to go. Just so I can see exactly. Okay, let me just check. You guys, you guys know where I'm back, or <sighs> it's just because my internet is so slow when <laughs> when it shows. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let me just take a look. Okay, I came to here, to here, and I originally came from here. Let me just. Oh. Okay. Uh. Let's go here. Let me just check if I pick all the chests or if I miss something. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that place teleport me here, which is here. Okay, here teleports me here. And here is probably that other place. Let's see. Let's see. Let me check if everything is back. Let me see. Uh, hello. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. Oh, it is. Yep, it is. Okay. Okay, let me go through here. So I can see if I can find anything. Okay, maybe I, 
Oh, yeah, I, I came through here, that's why. Yep. Now, oh, now I get it. I came through here. Okay, okay. No! no. <clears throat> oh no, wait. Uh, I just go here. Yep, I think I got, got all the chests. Oh, no, 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 that, that, that is. Yeah, we should be fine, so. Activate. Let's continue. We, oh my god. Okay. Where to now? Thorough extraction. Okay. Okay, huh? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I was like, wait, what is happening? Like, uh, yo, I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is happening? Oh, oh. Is going on yeah, what's happening? This is getting weirder by the minute. <gasps> hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. Don't worry, I'm probably fine for now. Is that remind of Chiki Taisho dom the domain? Uh, 2.2. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, it's it's exactly like Chiki Taisho event. Um, okay. Auto, outro, up. Uh, it is similar, but it a little more. Sunny, I guess. Like the sun seems to be more present this time around, but it is, it is really similar. Like, it, by the way, what the, what do I need to do? Like, like, just because, like, there is a light here, but. Like, everything is alright? Like, is my game bugged or I just dumb? <laughs> A few moments later. Maybe it's bugged for some reason, like, because, like, because there's light here, but. Oh, 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 okay, okay. It is a bug. I just stupid. <laughs> I just stupid. I was so worried. Like, Investigate the corridor of the other side. Okay, I just stupid. Uh, at least, at least I, I'm stupid. The game just doesn't need to crash for some reason. It just didn't work. I thought for sure there was something wrong. Or no, I, I just stupid. But if it's just my stupidity, then it should be everything should be fine. But I do wonder why is it showing me the Shiki Taisho event, and the other one is still a lot like the two point. Six at uh, two point six event? No, 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 two point two point eight event. You know the Kazuha domain? Oh my god! Go to the upper platform. Okay. Oh. But I do wonder why is he showing me these past events that I did like? Okay. Uh. Oh, oh no. Yo, yo, the camera just. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like 
we meet again, traveler. By the way, you shouldn't be dead, by the way. I'm pretty sure you died, like, in 2.7, I think. No, 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 2. Point... No, in 2.6. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you died in 2.6. Like... Uh, what are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place. Plotting. <laughs> <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Uh-huh. Sure, sure, dude, sure. If it ever is her, never. Let's nip that in the butt. Yo, <laughs> look at the damage. Resistance go Absorption test. Propagate. I'll uproot you. Oh, I was wondering, wait, what is not happening? Uh, like, why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Yeah. Oops, sorry. Though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize <laughs> how <much laughs> powerless you really are. Why? <laughs> okay, okay. First, why are you talking about oh, I have good fortune? The only thing that happens is that your HP stops uh, stop going down, or to be more precise, your shield stop going down. Second, I have I have Paimon and <laughs> and Oz at my side. I right there, oh my god. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fine, dude. It, you just need to calm down. Oh my god. My journey will not end here. I still must find my sister. Yeah, my journey will not end here. Shut, shut up. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Bro, shut up, dude. <laughs> shut up. Didn't you hear her say, oh, we will fight at the end of the journey or whatever? Her you know. highness has long since forsaken you. Uh huh, sure. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Wait, her eyes is. Ah, no, a bug. By the way, I just cracked me so much that Oz just fly on the background and there's lightning right behind me. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your Yo, sibling are Look at there, look at us there. <laughs> just fighting. is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Okay, he exploded and... Everything's fine. Uh, uh. Huh? Yo, even Pyme is not here yet. Okay. What was that just now? Strange. It feels like... Oh no. Oh no, Traveler. Your clothes haven't rendered yet. Oh no, Traveler. <laughs> what was that just now? Oh, okay. Uh, everything's back now. Oof. 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 Blood save. Okay. What was that just... What was that just now? Strange, it feels like I was just dreaming for a moment there, but I can't remember what I saw. Wait, you don't remember? Hmm. What do we do? We haven't seen her patient anywhere uh, out she's here. She's right there, Paima. Oh, she's just she starving. Is. Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, <sighs> so sweet. Mm. Okay, okay, Harpage, okay. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why did you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, sorry, I kind of zoned out for a second. I'm sorry. Seeing her patient must have given me a shock. Okay, well, oh, she did. Guess that makes sense. She does look kind of rough at the moment. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. 
Yeah, later, let's see if it's just fine now. Whoa, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. Oh? After giving some semi-conscious arpeggios, some water and fruit juice. Oh, okay. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Nope. Uh, it's me, the traveler. Huh? <laughs> She's so confused, it's okay. huh? You can relax, Hypatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Yeah. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. You give her page the letter from Tenari. I see. Ooh, that's so, a, your that's friend interesting Tainari. transition. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We it's probably were kind of small creatures. about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. <laughs> Must neighbor come by and saw me like this uh -huh. your neighbor you mean there's someone else living nearby is it a little round creature kind of like a cabbage like oh so you're able to see them too you tell our patient Paimo everything that happened after I entered the cave okay so we told them Wait, hold on a second traveler you say that before we arrive you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature okay. is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Oh, that's interesting. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Ooh. Oh my Even god, she just disappeared for a second. And stopped meditating. My heart was still pounding. And my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. Ooh, by the way, that's a really cool... I, I don't know if the name is sepia, the right term, but the really cool effect that they use using it right here. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening <laughs> of the cave. Oh my god, just wiggling right there. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. Yo, it's really they cute. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. <laughs> it wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. Oh, I see. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. Oh, there weren't? I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. What fascinating creature. Sound like a great neighbor. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> okay, curious sound. I wonder. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. By the way, Harpeja sounds way more sweet than I originally thought she would. I thought it would, she would be more, you know, more, a more serious person, but she sounds pretty nice. Like. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier. <sighs> wow, anyway, Paimon. Wow. Looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. 
Oh. Let me first talk about Ermin Soul later. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, if we're so hungry, why don't you make your own food, Paimon? And then I can make my food since my 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 hands, you know, drop them all the time. All right, we're up, traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They're our specialties, after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> oh my god. Make some food for by the fireside, okay. Okay, what food do I need to make? Make lunk lunch box. You cook up some dishes over the fire. All done! Let's <coughs> use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing! And the box is a nice touch too! Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia! Okay, let's go. Give her page at the food you made for her. Here he is. Are you already you like finished it. cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Here it he is. Hope you like it. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You oh. should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why did Incense allow people to connect to Ermensel. The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Oh. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensel, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Huh. Okay, this is the root of the Dendrarchon power line with Urmaso. Okay, I think I Naturally, understand. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Urmaso in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. <laughs> you imagine if I said the other one and she was like, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, mm -hmm. hence the adverse reactions. Oh, I see. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Oh, I see. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermin Soul at will. Whoa, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawa Starshan at the Academia, my main area of research is oh. the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. 
Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. Oh, I see. Only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. Or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. Hmm. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Wow. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. <laughs> oh, look, look how cute he is just vibing right there. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Wow! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hathaja? I don't think she cares so much about the risks, about the rewards. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. And dead silent without even the sound of insects. Okay, whatever. You know what you just said. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. Aww. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. The sound that he makes. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, hmm. it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, is that true? By the way, that's super weird. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Hmm. Reminds me of the dream I saw I saw from I, Aranana? It was so big, chaotic mess. Yes. If one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Rukadevata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Hmm. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. Aww. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. No, that's a little sad, actually. Yeah, uh, when you know, I don't come to you and just said, when you stop dreaming, you know you have become an adult. Like that's kind of sad. But then, on the day I scared <coughs> the little Aranara. I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> I shouldn't be that bad, you Just know. Just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. <laughs> so, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermansoul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? The word forget uh... me. If only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. Aw, uh, don't uh, worry about it. If you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Uh, thanks, Har Harpasia. We wish you your luck in your endeavors. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> now that we know 
her pager is all right <clears throat> and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Okay. Return to Gargandaville. Uh, Harpesia, how are you? Heading out, I see. If there's anything else you'd ever like oh. to ask about, you know where to find me. About dream. Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, I doubt they were able to control the actual contents of the dream. The end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Perhaps there's something that's troubling you deep inside? Yeah, that's possible. Not to worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle whatever comes your way in the real world. As Aww, someone thanks. from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever worry about nightmares. <laughs> but lately, I've started to feel that I'm somehow missing something without dreams. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Okay, about Ermansoul. Sumeru researchers use spirit born ale to assist them in connecting with Ermansoul to extract knowledge from it. Though the process can be risky, we believe that the knowledge gained is worth it. Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. At least not yet. I'm still learning how to attune to the depths of Ermansoul myself. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life and gain deeper insights. Heading out, I see. If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Okay, about your unusual neighbor. I've heard local children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. But I'm from Sumeru City and have never heard of such things when I was a child. Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. My parents would seldom allow me to play with other children. I doubt they'd ever believe me if I told them about my little neighbor out here. And speaking of my little neighbor, I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit me. Really? I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees, they'll suddenly tense up and scamper away for no apparent reason. Shortly after they do this, Tainari always shows up here. Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I see him. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Okay, goodbye. Take care. Do remember to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Okay. Oh, she was so sweet. Oh my god. Okay, let's go help to Gargandavu. Let me just... Game no, no Wow Thanks Thanks game Eh whatever Let's just continue and I can <laughs> check check out later There you go that's what I talking about Let's see now. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I oh understand my God. that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Well, someone needs to do the job and he seems really eager to do it, so I don't know what's the problem. Can he just, you know, do his research his research No, do his job here while protecting the forest at the same time? You know, to research research and his guard job? Keep your emotions in check. Words hurt? Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the academia, not to cause a scene. Yo, look at this guy. Glasses, earrings, and must mustache. Like, oh my god. Like, Yo, it's so different for normal that I almost impressed. Almost. Sage Kaje, 
I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. Oh, I, get I it. see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. <laughs> Tenari, oh your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. Okay, that's kind of dirty. Couldn't you just, you know, tell him? Oh, and then so help. Oh, we thought, you know, what if it'll come with us and then we we'll tell them what, what you need to help with? And how long will I be required to stay? Um, there's no definite answer as of now. Oof, does that mean reaction? Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? Yo, I, I don't know if it's just the English VA, but I don't know. I kind of like how assertive Denar is. I think I said in the first part as well. If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Yo. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Yo, this guy is looking at me, like, just uh, looking. Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? Yep, that's right. That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Okay, understandable. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. He's also, when you enter point. Sumeru no, City, you'll point. probably end up receiving Starting something point. like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced oh. by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Yo, <laughs> the way that Tenari said, like, oh, uh, it's called the Akash Ak Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia. <laughs> it sounds so, uh, like, you know, that place. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Okay. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait, before that... We need to say goodbye to Kale! That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Aww. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go. Farewell, and good luck to you both. Thanks, Tainari. Have good luck as well. whatever or 
should I say every time? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's go say goodbye to Collie. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I uh, well uh, <sighs> never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Aw, don't do say it like that. Like, sounds so awkward. I am a little awkward I think, in RL. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Please take care of yourself soon, Kale. We will be back soon uh, to see you soon, Kale. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. Yep, yeah, that's spirit. And, uh, well, uh, Aw, don't, don't be like that. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. Aw, uh, don't say it like that. I, I understand. You don't need to rush things out. Like, you can tell about your personal stuff when you... Feel com comfortable about it. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. Yeah, that's right. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh, you do? Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. Aww. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Of course we will. I'm so well happy with it. I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gundarverville again. The Rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Hello, chat. <laughs> Quest complete. Beat a pocket. Prior to God of Wisdom, go to Sumeru City. Okay, let me. Wait. <laughs> Go to recipes. Beat up pockets. Okay. For now, let me just. Oh, right. let me just talk to Kali before I. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. Okay. How are you feeling now? I'm much better now. I'll be back on patrol again starting tomorrow. Oh, I Even see. Even though I'm not quite ready to help Master clear the withering zones yet. There are still plenty of other tasks for me to handle. Oh, and Traveler, if you ever see Amber again during your travels, please don't mention my illness to her, okay? Amber knows about my case of Elazar and what's happened in my past, but I haven't told her about my condition getting worse. Oh, I was wondering. I, guess I just don't want her to worry about me. If the need arises, I'll tell her about it myself. All right, we understand, Kale. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. Okay, about pita pockets. <laughs> Kinda hard to believe that Master Tainari can cook, isn't it? His culinary techniques are very polished, but his taste is a little... Uh... Unusual? <laughs> it's not really his fault, though. He just has a sensitive tongue and nose, so he prefers much lighter flavors. The last time I went a little too heavy on the spices for my pita pockets, Master started having a sneezing fit. Of course, I never heard the end of it after that. <laughs> I hope oh you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. Okay, goodbye, Kali. See you later. Be sure to come back often. Even though Master didn't admit it, I'm sure he wants to see you again. So, I probably will meet him again on this... On this... You know, is The thingy that... I don't know why I forgot the name. He is... Here and I forgot historic quest. Oh my god, I don't know why I forgot the name. 